What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchUpEssentials.com back with another SketchUp extension overview for you. So in today's video we're going to talk about a specific feature contained inside of the Sketch UV toolset. So we're going to talk about the Path Select tool, which is a tool that allows you to quickly and easily select complex paths inside of SketchUp. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. So Sketch UV is a tool that you can download for free in the Sketchication extension store, and I will link to this in the notes down below. Um, but basically what it does is it's a tool both for UV mapping, meaning helping you apply textures to your materials, but it comes with another great tool that I wanted to focus on for this video. So I will link to this in the notes down below, but basically what it has when you install it is you get these two options, right? You get the mapping tools and then you get the path select tool. If you guys are interested, we can talk a little bit more about the mapping in the future. Today I wanted to focus on the path select tool because I think it's something that really fits well into a workflow, especially if you're working with like landscapes, complex shapes, things like that. So the way that it works, and we'll go ahead and double click into my sandbox tools example model here, is what it does is it uses an algorithm to try to detect a path. You might remember I did a video on this. This tool is also contained inside of Profile Builder. So, um, and it's a great tool for saving time when selecting complex paths inside of SketchUp. So what you do is you activate it, and then you mouse over edges inside of your model. So you can see how in this situation, whatever edge I mouse over, and notice that I've clicked into this group um, so that I'm actually over the raw geometry, whatever edge I mouse over, this extension kind of shows me a color. So just showing me that that's the edge that I moused over. And then if I click, and then move my mouse, what you're gonna notice is what this does is this'll use a path selection algorithm to try to figure out the fastest path between the point you selected and where your mouse is. So notice that I can move my mouse probably all the way to about here before it starts jumping around. So it, it does get kind of jumpy in areas like this, but what you can do is whenever you click, you can set a new point. So for example, if I click right here, you can see how this path turns blue, meaning that that's been finalized, and we've told Sketch UV that we want that to be part of our selection. Well now, you can see I can continue moving my mouse and I can just click again before I get to little corners and points and things like this. So you can see how I can use this to quickly select a path like this one without having to go in and mess around with messing, messing with your views or anything like that. And so once you're done, all you have to do is hit the enter key in order to finalize that selection. And so what we've been able to do with this is we've been able to quickly select the path around this opening. And usually what I end up doing is I end up using this in conjunction with more complex extensions. So for example, for this one, um, I'm going to use it in conjunction with soap skin and bubble in order to create a face inside of this hole. So if I was to say 20 divisions on this and hit the enter key, you can see how I could use this to quickly select all of this without having to mess around with trying to get that path because that can get really frustrating. You do a lot of shift clicking and things like that. You can use this to select these complex paths and then use other tools like these in order to fill stuff like that in. So another simpler example is let's say we had a sphere like this one and let's say I was to erase out some of my hidden geometry in here. So just some of the edges so that this is no longer a complete sphere. So something like this. Um, so let's say that I wanted to select the edges in here and then use one of my other extensions. So actually this is probably a good soap skin location as well, but we may try it with curve aloft. But let's say I wanted to select this, I can just move my mouse and click in order to select that opening really quickly. And so let's say I was to run the skinning tool for curve aloft, you can see how we could use this in order to skin this right here. And obviously that's not gonna be the best tool for that. Again, the best tool for that is probably going to be a soap skin and bubble. So we would use soap skin and bubble, hit the enter key, and we could use this in order to generate a face inside of here. And so another cool thing about this is not only can you use it to select paths in the way that I just showed you, but you can also use it to select edge loops. So for example, and we'll turn our hidden geometry off for a second. If I click on this and then double click on an edge, you can see how it's gonna select this entire edge loop along this face. But you could also use it to select the edge loops in my sphere. So let's say I had hidden geometry right here and I wanted to quickly select this edge loop, I could just double click on it. You can see how I could use that in order to quickly select a loop to work with. So that would be really helpful, for example, if we had something like if we wanted to use extrusion tools and extrude our edges. Um, and I believe this is actually going to be extrude edges by vector. 
but we could select this really quickly, extrude edges by vector. This time I'll actually make sure I'm on the blue axis. You can use this to quickly add geometry like this um, using the selection tool. And so one thing I might recommend is also installing the extension selection memory from TomTom. Tom. So what that's going to do is that's going to save your selection sets. So let's say we were to sit, let's say we were to come in here and select a path around this edge. And then we were to offset it in like this to create a face. And then I'll go ahead and rever reverse this face and move this up. But now let's say that we wanted to use curve aloft in order to create a skin in here. We could just cycle that previous selection instead of having to reselect the whole thing all over again using that tool. And then you could add this to your selection and then you could quickly generate a face in here using the loft by spline function. So you can see how by using that selection memory in here it's really easy to come back and remember a selection that you had in here before. So that's where I'm going to end this video. This is more of probably a day-to-day -day functional tool, but it's something that if you add it to your tool set, it can save you a ton of time when going in and selecting things in the future. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought. Did you like this video? Do you like this extension? I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.